everybody back with a uh, mail day uh, first off the, everybody who got in my auctions the other night if you have paid it has shipped it either shipped yesterday or today depending on when you paid but there's only there's still seven people that haven't paid uh, I think four of you have YouTube channels which I know I've already talked to a couple and I'm not worried about Zach G Gulliford or something like that I have no way of contacting you if you could if not a couple days everything's not for sale like it would be because it's gonna go right back into my piles and Ty S card collector another one but like I said a couple days don't worry about it because I'll keep it so anyway the other day, I didn't make a video or anything. I got two packages here. One's an eBay grab and one's Snodzilla's auctions, I think. I got a Janu, the purple ice, they call it, purple crystals. And that's out of 75, so that goes along. So four and a half weeks have went by, and I have waited for my red retail John New Smith, he ain't responding anymore, so now it's starting to become this point to where I don't think I'll ever get it. Which sucks, because it was the only one I seen on there. But, I guess I'd get my $8 back. And then I also really haven't been grabbing anything from my son. And we got this Mike Evans tie-dye from this year's Select. Nice patch on there. That's out of 10. And just, and just a He's one of the top, probably, at least the top 10 receiver in the league in the first few years that he's been in the league. And I got this for $13. So think about that before you buy something. Because that's off eBay. Out of 10, Mike Evans from Select. But anyway, and we'll get into snods first here. I know a couple of things that I got. I didn't get too many cards. I think I just got a couple $10 things or something. But, and again, like always, some of this stuff, I have absolutely no idea why I got it. It just looked pretty at the time, and once I start going, it is really hard for me to uh, just sit back and watch when something looks pretty. So I will probably eventually sell something, or I will uh, keep it. Who knows? Anyway, so this, with a couple fillers. Keenan Allen uh, rookie card from Playbook, which was pretty sweet. And I got this for a really, really good deal. Yeah, it's out of two ninety nine, but that patch and being an on-card auto of a somewhat of a top wide receiver in the league when he's healthy and yeah nice little booklet i'm not the biggest fan of booklets but it was still really pretty so i appreciate that and so then i got this ed reed and i don't get into patches at all it's out of 299 obviously i opened up a lot of classics myself but this one is game used so i figured i'd grab that if it's game used and I like it, it's a it's a player I like, then I'll probably be in it, you know, depending on how the price goes. But uh yeah, I had to get that. But yeah, then this Tyler Lock, I think what, ten bucks or something like that. This is a very shiny, pretty, nice patch. I mean, they always got nice packs. It's a rookie of Tyler Lockett. And other than Baldwin, you know, if this kid can stay healthy, who knows what happens with him. But either way, I still thought that was a great deal. And then a couple other just random grabs. I got this Carson Wentz uh, it's a rookie roundup, which is pretty cool. I thought I got it for a decent price. But I already had the golf. So, again, these that will stay in my collection I'm really trying to narrow down things that I uh, will for sure always keep just because I got way too much crap. Lots and lots of stuff, but uh, yeah, so this will go with the golf. So I thought that was cool. I'm trying to really focus on like mostly quarterbacks, but yeah, this Jared Goff was in that, I think, but Ray Rookie, just your white. 
I don't know if I have a win. I don't know. I might have had a win. But then I got this War and Moon again. I'm not huge into just relics or anything like that. But it was game used. It's out of 400, but still game used of uh, War and Moon. Pretty sweet VIP membership. So, yeah. And then these were completely random. I think it was just going for such a crazy low price, I decided to grab them anyway. <clears throat> so, we got this Julio here. Got Julio there and Julio there. All from Unparalleled. One's the 25, one's the 49, and one's the 99. So, having three of them like that, including a 1 out of 25, almost makes me want to like see what the out of 10s and stuff go for. But Just because I'm weird like that. And this one I don't remember getting. Maybe it went cheap. I don't know. I know it's player worn, but it was from uh, NT 9 out of 99, Eli Manning. I just swore. I didn't know if I got this or not. This one I can't remember. But if I did, I did. If I didn't, I didn't. I don't know. So, yeah, Snods, if you watch this, let me know if I got this. Because I cannot. I remember all these but this one. But that's usually how it goes with some of the stuff I get. But anyway, so that was a pretty good auction, and I thought it was fun, and yeah, didn't spend too awfully much for a lot of nice cards. And so, well wrapped in this here. Been searching for this guy for a while. I know some guys in the YouTube, uh... Facebook group that we got. Kind of already know what this is, but uh, this guy on eBay cut me a pretty good deal. And eventually we were only about $5 apart, which really wasn't bad at all. And uh, yeah, so we made it happen. It isn't like an NT or impeccable auto like I would like because that's just the kind of cards that I've been kind of going for, but. Either way, this is pretty sweet. Uh, this is, I don't even know what brand that's from, Dunruss or something, 2009. Okay. And it's five out of five Calvin Johnson. On card, has a recollection collection stamp there, 2017. Oh, yeah. So, that what this is one of the buybacks from this year, or last year's classics. Sorry, because it's 2017. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah. I'm pretty stoked to have that. And it came in a bag already, which I was going to mag it anyway. So, yeah. On guard, Calvin Johnson. So, at least I marked him off the list. They call him Megatron. Didn't have a long career. But I'm telling you, if you guys seen him play, uh, he was quite the beast on the field. So, that's all I got, guys. Uh, I know Bills fans having an auction tonight. Eloise will probably be on Friday like they usually are. Uh, other than that, I can't really think of uh, anything else. But yeah. So anyway, if you didn't pay for your auction, pay for it. If not, keeping it in like two days. See you guys later. Thanks.